Jobs for you now is your business or your workplace place behind the times when it comes to using social media. And what about your job search, especially if you're self-employed? We want to make sure you're using all the right resources to do your best. And this morning, author and Bloomberg TV contributor Patrick Schwartfager is here to explain how we can use these new tools to the best of our ability. Let's start off with Facebook because there's a real dilemma there. When I'm on Facebook, I don't want somebody to sell me something, and yet if you are looking to bring a new business it can be a powerful tool how do we do it yeah I mean, this is the thing and the first thing to know is is the most of the people are wasting their time they're pitching their products nobody wants a pitch the trick is to find what it is that you do that's truly remarkable something that's worth remarking about and then sharing that in a visual way you know there's different types of content there's text audio photos and video mm -hmm. what's the most viral video what's in second place photos people like interacting with visual content. So that's a good place to start, is to share what you do that's remarkable. Show me something that's going to help me. Exactly. And something that's engaging and something that people want to pass along. All right. What about LinkedIn? Because if you're not on LinkedIn, you are really cutting yourself off from sources of, of potential work. Yeah. When it comes to, particularly in the job search, there's really three categories. There's positioning, branding, and networking. And LinkedIn is very, very good in the networking category in a B2B environment. So you're, you're able to engage with people in a very sophisticated, very business-oriented environment and demonstrate your expertise within that context. You okay. could write a report. You could write some sort of a value-added a demonstration of what it is you have to offer and share it on LinkedIn where other people can say, you know what, that's useful information, that's someone I need to know. Now sometimes folks are a little bit reluctant to link with somebody because if you don't know them, it seems like you're endorsing them. So how do you work that little dilemma? Yeah, I think particularly for someone in your position or even in mine, yeah. and it's a decision we all have to make individually and different people have different objectives. So in some cases, uh, people want to network with everybody they can and arguably it doesn't have a lot of benefit. I would say you really want to decide who you want to be on these platforms and network very strategically with the people who actually have something to contribute or mm -hmm. someone who you can contribute to what they're doing. Also, Twitter can be a very powerful platform even at 140 characters or less. And Patrick <laughs> tells you about it in Marketing Shortcuts for the Self-Employed. I've got to tell you, I, I like this because it comes in bite-sized chunks, yeah. which makes it very easy to digest. And it's getting some great reviews online. So check it out, Marketing Shortcuts for the Self-Employed. And Patrick's going to be speaking later today in... In Livonia, Livonia at the Embassy Suites. Okay. In the meantime... Thank